Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the Central Division in the City of Los Angeles on February 14, 2019. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case, so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Giselle Espinoza of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on February 14, 2019, around 6.51 a.m. LAPD officers assigned to Transit Services Division were walking a footbeat in the mezzanine level of the Metro Centro Station, located at 7th and Figueroa Streets, when they were flagged down and directed to a male Hispanic armed with a knife. The officers located the individual who was later identified as Wilfredo Hernandez. Hernandez was armed with a knife and had been involved in a confrontation with Metropolitan Transit Authority security officers earlier. LAPD officers approached Hernandez, who still had the knife in his hand. They attempted to use a taser on him, but he charged at the officers with the knife, which resulted in the officer-involved shooting. You will see Hernandez holding a pocket knife in his right hand and walk towards the MTA security officers as he walks through the turnstile. The officers approached Hernandez and the security officers. One of the officers attempted to use his taser on Hernandez, which had no effect. Hernandez then charged one of the officers while still holding the knife as the officer backed away, and that is when the officer shot Hernandez. Hernandez's knife was found on the ground nearby where he fell after being shot. Immediately after the shooting, officers requested assistance and the Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics. Paramedics pronounced Hernandez deceased at the scene. Hernandez was a 47-year-old resident of Los Angeles. He did not have any prior contact with the department's mental evaluation unit. However, he did have prior arrests for trespassing and narcotics possession. The LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident over the next several months as forensic tests are conducted and the final autopsy report is completed. They'll also interview any new witnesses that may come forward. Now, After the investigation is finalized, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The Board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, 
and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.